Hello and welcome. In the next few minutes we are going to use Iris and Mule to call a web service. This web service is both publicly available and previously unknown to our sample application. As you may know, Iris is a server that enables a single interaction experience across a number of devices or channels. Any number of devices or channels, in fact. An enterprise architecture with this kind of interaction layer allows IT to move at the speed of the business. New data can become instantly available to all user agents on all of these channels as links or data mashed up within an existing resource view. Let's start by taking a look at our application's current resource interactions and views. In today's example, I'm going to drill straight down to the HTML representation of our interactions, this layer here. You'll recall that the user agents are able to use any of these supported media types to light up the screen in whatever way they see fit. So there could be an HTML representation from a user agent above this. So if we look at our service document and follow the link to the menu and a list of customers, we can see that customers have a postcode. Now this postcode gives away some information about the customer's location. So if we wanted to see what the weather was like for Mr. Treasury Dealer 1, we would tap his postcode into Google and we'd be able to see what kind of day he's having. So 94080. Let's do weather 94080. And it tells us he's in San Francisco and there's scattered clouds. That's brilliant. But wouldn't it be nice if we could get that in our application so we would click on him and see this image for scattered clouds. That's what we're going to try and do today. To solve this problem we are going to break it down to three parts. The conceptual, the logical and the physical. At the conceptual level we need to find a weather service that offers a forecast by postcode. We need to add a new placeholder to our application to contain this weather, this forecast. We need to add a link from the customer to this container. And finally, we need to plug in the solution to call this service. At the logical level, we need to identify a suitable technology for calling our service. We could, for example, use a handwritten letter and send it to the Bureau of Meteorology. But I suspect this would be too latent and too costly for most organizations. Usually, there will be some explicit or implicit criteria in terms of the deployment environment, non-functional requirements, and cost. For us, a much more sensible approach would be to use Mule. Mule is an excellent fit for the Java and Spring-based technology that underpins Iris. It has good non-functional performance, and with a code-free implementation, offers a very cheap and very cost-effective approach. At the physical level, we can somewhat overlook these details, as we have already decided to use a public web service. We have a TCP IP infrastructure in place, and the DNS shields us from most other environmental changes that could affect this example. So with that, let's get started.